It's time for another Targets in Focus from Dukescopy TV. This week, the currency markets were affected by the coordinated central bank action on bank liquidity. In the wake of that, my guest today is once again Tony Nyman, FX Fundamentals Manager at Informa Global Markets in London. Thank you very much for joining us once again, Tony. Let's start by talking about the euro dollar. This pair saw a spike in the wake of that coordinated central bank action this week. Do you expect that level to hold? And where do you see it heading in one, three and 12 months time? Well, it certainly took um, markets by surprise yesterday, the move, and the euro shot straight higher against the dollar, and all other risk appetite currencies also enjoyed a relief rally. Um, Well, if we look back in November, say, Peter, um, the euro has shown a fair bit of resilience throughout, really. It fell about five cents during the month. But really, considering all the euro weights in in place right now, it could have fallen a lot further. But we've been down this road so many times before, especially in the second half of the year. And we think the occasional signs of positive sentiment, which which certainly helped yesterday, is merely dressed up excuses for for bouts of profit profit taking and and position pairing. Overall, it's, it's a very increasingly short market, the euro, as evidenced by last week's CFTC data, which showed over 85,000 um, short net contracts. And, and we haven't seen those sort of levels since June, June 2010. And so what happens normally in, at the start of December and late November is we get um, investors naturally pairing positions and they go through these profit-taking bouts. We, we remain relative euro-dollar bears, but our forecasts across the curve show that we see an orderly decline rather than a euro breakup inspired plunge in 2012. So we're going for 134 in the one month, which is fairly close to current levels, 132 in the six months, excuse me, and 129 in the 12 months. On to the dollar-Swiss franc, then. You've got this pair heading to 0.925 in three months. Why have you got these particular targets, and where do you see this pair heading? We have, um, as you say, 92.50 in the three months, 92 in the one month, and 95 in the 12 months longer out. And that's, again, just looking for an, an, a fairly orderly rise in dollar-Swiss. It's been rising, you know, for the best part of a month now, and one independent focus, as you say, has been SNB policy since early SEP and with its introduction of a 120 euro Swiss floor. That's proved a success. Um, Latest SNB data showed a big leap in FX reserves in Q3, which suggests they, they they are serious about Swiss strength. While central bank officials continue to remind markets that the franc's overvalued where it is currently, about 123, and that they could take action again. But most interestingly, too, uh, the Swiss government, business groups, unions believe the floor should be raised to the likes of 125 and 130. Um, Recent disappointing data um, came via GDP today and, and especially yesterday with the worst in over two years KOF leading indicator of just 0.35. Things like that will, will only heighten calls from these groups for the SNB to act on the strong Swissy. OK, finally on to the dollar yen then. What do you think will be the main drivers behind this pair? Do you expect to see much action from it in the next few months? And where do you see it heading in the short, mid and long term? I mean, it's, it's been a very, very, apart from the odd bout of intervention, it's been so quiet. It, it, it virtually moves on an intraday basis. Um, in the last week or so, it's actually been edging higher dollar yen, but we don't expect the pair to undergo a huge breakout at any stage. Um, to 2011 in particular, dollar yen's probably been the biggest disappointment what's, um, of all currencies top sidewise. It goes up, it has the odd bout of strength, a cent here, a cent there, a yen there, a, here a yen there, and then it just comes, it just falls away again. We put that down to the current Fed stance that interest rates will stay very low into 2013, while the, while the market continues to factor in the likelihood of some form of QE3 in the early part of next year. 
and latest talk in the last 24 hours or so, particularly after the central bank's joint intervention yesterday, was talk of a discount rate cut um, fairly near term. And things like that, whether it happens or not, it can only help um, keep, keep a lid on the dollar below 80. OK, thank you very much for that, Tony. That's all we've got time for today. As always, stay tuned to Duke's Copy TV for more Targets in Focus.